Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay Discworld. And we lost! We left off, we have the password for the secret hideout, and we have a robe that will allow us to fit in with the other people that are going to the secret hideout. We also have this book here that I haven't been using for some reason. Because we can! Now we have a way straight out into the streets of Hank Morpork. We don't have to go through the university screens anymore, which will save us a little bit of time. Actually, it'll save us a lot of time, because we're going to be going to the past quite a bit in this act. Oh, you thought we were done with just this final time? Oh no! There's a fair bit more to do. So let's go! First off, we need to get into that meeting. We need to do that to find out just who's there. So it's time for L Space! It's also time to skip L Space and immediately go out to the hideout. We don't need to see that the book is stolen, we know that it's going to be stolen. And so, beating the thief here, we're going to put the robes on. I think we use them on the door. No, I'm not looking in there. Maybe we put them on. Yeah, we put them on ourselves. There we go. It was either the door or ourselves. Oh, luggage. You can't come in here. Go and hide in the opposite direction we pointed. Mmm, hello? Hail! Yes, hail, brother doorkeeper. Right, give me the password and I'll let you in. Oh, all right. Ah. Let's see now. It's. Blah, 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 spoons, blah, 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 swordfish, blah, blah, blah. Right? No. Hey, you didn't say Simon Says. Oh. Simon Says. Okay. Welcome, or oh fellow brother of the elucidated brethren of the sword. Excellent. We're in. Hail, brothers. Hail. 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 Yay, right. Hail. Once again, we elucidated brethren of the sword are met. Once again, we shall weave the webs of power. If we know now that it is our destiny to rule this city. Ooh, Chucky, 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 Chucky! Hail. Hail! Yes, once I thought it was my destiny to build a papier-mâché dinosaur in my bedroom. And then I thought it was my destiny to win the men's overland saxophone championships. But now, I know, I finally know, that it is my destiny to rule Ank Morpork. Here, what about us then? A marine company with these, my loyal lack of uh, um, loyal comrades. A new age shall dawn, my friends. Hail! An age of power and majesty. Hail! An age of freedom without indoor plumbing and the job losses it entails. Hail! A world where a man can carry out his legitimate wealth redistribution business without worrying about quotas. Hail! Where cheap replastering will be outlawed in favour of major structural reinforcement. Yay! A place where low mackerel sales will be a thing of the past. And compulsory smoke-flu cleanliness will be rigorously enforced. Hail! Brother Brigwit, Brother Broom, bring the tomb. Now, for the spell of power, brother, brother... Uh, pencil head. Oh, dark spirits of the universe. With this bowl, we do consecrate and, and, and so forth. Except now, these sacrifices, as we consign the potion to the flames. Bring us the power of the dragon! Dragon good, 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 dragon good. Dragon good! 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 So 
we learned a few things there. First off, that we were there in that meeting all along. If you go back to the cutscene way back in the introduction, you will see that we were there. We were Brother Pencilhead. I'm sure this isn't going to have any ramifications whatsoever concerning the dragon and vengeance or whatever. No, no, non, not at all, maybe, possibly. But more importantly, we now know who was at that meeting. We know who is a member of his organization. Well, we know all but one of them. One of them we have not seen before. The leader is, of course, the jester. There is also the chimney sweep. There is the fishmonger. There is the dunny man. There's an assassin. The one we don't know is the mason, but I'm sure we'll encounter him as we return back to the present and begin our investigations. We need to find where they keep their golden artifacts and we need to take them. And now that we've had that meeting, loads of things should have changed in the present. So let us go there and see if that is the case. Events have happened as they should, so we can return. Now let us go to the square. It's an important place to go. Yep, that old timer's still dead. What I want to see is what Dibbler is selling. Ah, things have changed. I know this now because Dibbler is no longer selling those dragon detecting devices. I'm sure I've seen him around the place before. I wonder if he was the one who tried to sell me shares in that left-handed shoelace factory. No different dialogue when we examine, but when we chat. Yeah. Something around here smells like cinnamon dipped toad balls. Right here, sir. Sugar donuts. Normally a penny a piece, but for you, tuppence a bag. I shouldn't do this, mind you. I'm cutting my own throat. Hmm. Are we gonna need those? We might very well need those. Oh, all right. Just give me some donuts. There we go. We've got one. It's as simple as that. This donut is more than just a little bit sticky. Oh, interesting clue. Yeah. Right here. Normally a pen. I shouldn't do. Let's talk to you a bit more. I wish you would cut your own damn throat. Anything if the price is right, sir. I don't think you should be saying that, cut me own throat, Debbler. Is that all you're selling? Oh, no, sir. This week, we have a special in home security items for making you feel safe like in these times of trouble. Security? And what might this entail? Patent dragon traps, sir. Guaranteed to liquidate any draconic intruders to your home. Otherwise, as I have said, you get your money back. What? Those are mouse traps. They're for catching very small dragons, sir. I'm letting them go half price. I'm cutting my own throat. No, thank you. I'm afraid the dragon that most people are scared of is quite a bit bigger. Though, for a very, very small dragon, but on the ground, it could work. Maybe. Dear God, these donuts look heavy as lead. That's quality you can see there, sir. Treacle dough lovingly dusted with sugar, cinnamon and honey. Recommended by the Ankh Morpork Dental Guild. They're all spongy. Did you remember to actually bake them? Uh, um, do-it-yourself donuts, sir. All the pleasure of bakery in the comfort of your own home. A special dragon conflagration sale. Oh, shut up. Tell you what, one penny a bag. I'm cutting my own throat. No thanks, we already have one. And this time, there's no end the conversation dialogue. Now, now that we've figured out who's in that uh, shadowy group of people, we can talk to the lovable street starfish, and this is very important. What was the handshake you did? What handshake? The one you just did then. I never. Excuse me, young man, but you did. I saw you. And again, just to show you. It's a lot of handshake. Like that. Like what? The handshake. You did it again. Did not. Did too. Well, look, let's say, just as for instance, that I did know about a secret handshake. Now, if I told you, it would no longer be a secret, would it? That's a double negative. What? Wouldn't no longer. It's a double negative. So? So, if by telling me it wouldn't not be secret, then by telling me the opposite must be true. Uh, 
Yes. So, by telling me, it would be a secret. So, you see, it's perfectly safe to show me how it's done. Look, I think we might need to revert to some sort of proof of your last statement. The logic seems highly suspect. And? Well, if you could go over this double negative thing step by step, maybe on paper, like... You're a street urchin. Starfish. A street starfish, yes. You can't tell me that being a lovable fantasy street stereotype in any way prepares you for understanding the vagaries of symbolic logic. Well, if you could just prove it by means of a Venn diagram or an if-then-else statement... Can you read? Ah. You've put your finger on a problem area. So just show me the handshake. How do you do it? Couldn't tell you, Gav. Not just like that. Not without an initiation, like. You can only learn the secret if you prove that you're a man. Shall I report to a doctor? Well, he'd only know the physical. What? You know, sir, the real, the substantial. What I originally meant, sir, was for you to prove an innate yet unseeable quality of manhood, being a stereotype classification of... Now, look, we're verging on that philosophical proofing problem again, aren't we? Look, Gav, just go and prove that you're a man. Then you'll be good enough to earn the secret handshake. We have a mission, and now... Let us speak to our friend, the Amazon Boria. After we go over here and talk to... Actually, let's not talk to you yet. Let's first go and check out the Psychi Trickerist. It's important we go here now. Because we're now there. When you shut up and sit down? And this is important. Hello. <sighs> Ibble, ibble, egg, egg. I'm sorry? The eyes. What's happened? I couldn't... Ah. No different dialogue there. There may be different dialogue with the milkmaid later, though. This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Next. It's our turn. Let's go. Hello. Ah. Another case of repressed neuromorphosis. No, no, I just forgot to shave. So? Oh, well, maybe another time. Time to lie down. So, Mr. Wizard, first sit down and examine these ink blots. Uh, tell me what you think of this first picture represents. Ah, well, um, it's a bit ugly. A dead birdie? Mr. Dinosaur's bum? Oh, an emperor penguin fed it on a pool cue. Well, you can keep that one. No, no, it's not charge. Excellent. Absolutely. And uh, how about this one? Got grief. Hey? Is that you with a mask on? Whoops. Oh, wrong picture. <laughs> Oops. And what about this one? Yeah, it's... It's... It's an elephant's backside. Really? Reminds me of a patient I once had. Oh, you can keep that one. No, no extra charge. Yay! Anyway, how long have you had this fixation that you are a pencil? Who told you about that? Oh, come now. Listen, it's only a hat. Just a hat. It hasn't even got any lead in it. <laughs> a very bad case. A pencil case, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps I'd better see you again on Tuesday. And off we go. We have what we need. And straight out we go. We got not one, but two ink blots. Yeah. Looks like a plague rat's backside. Well, either that or a signed portrait of the patrician's ulcer. The first one apparently looks hideous. I think it's a picture of a lard pie. Or maybe a hippopotamus dumpling. And the second one apparently looks hideous, but we're not done. There we go. When you shut up and sit down. We can't go back in, but we can talk to you again. Hello again. Uh, hello. Have you seen him? Yes, well, probably. Oh, you don't seem very sure. What does he look like? Um... Well, he was tallish, shortish, with fairish, dark hair and a thing on his face. Thing? You know. A beard? Yes. Oh, yuck. He'd never wear a beard. Only a complete idiot would wear a beard. Madam, I believe you are insane. Well, I have to find him. It's all part of the cure. Now that you mention it, I think I may have seen him. Look, uh, give me a note so I can arrange for him to meet you. And 
there we go. We have a note from the milkmaid. This handwriting looks hauntingly familiar. Hmm, I wonder why. No, nope, don't shut that. We want to leave. For we have puzzles we need to solve. In fact, we could solve one of the puzzles right now. So let's go do that. With the Dunny King. Just need to wait. I have this item here that uh, may be useful. Just need to wait for him to show up. He should show up. And this is when the Dunny King never shows up. Oh, you really? Oh, there you are. Hello. New dialogue? Still going strong, then? I don't have to take that kind of attitude, you know. You what? It's an ancient profession, this is. Revered in other cultures. Mostly in bacterial cultures, perhaps. Honestly, have you ever thought what the world would be like without effluent management technicians? It's time we had a greater say in government, mate. It's always seemed to me that you have a strong involvement with government in any case. Practically proverbial. Ah, the old sword in the... the... Bunny bucket. Thank you. The old sword in the dunny bucket trick. If you didn't realise that uh, this person was involved with that uh, organisation, that dialogue is the clue. Also, would you like this? Oh dear! You may have uh, hurt your tooth! What are the odds? Also, you ran to the left. We're going to move to the right. And that's stage right and stage left. Someone told me that in the... Uh, Instance where I was uh, on the rooftops that I got it wrong. And I did. You learn something new every day. Now, let us go to the streets. Actually, first, before I do that, let's go to the square and have a conversation both with the uh, Amazon warrior and the cook. How did the cook end up there? We're about to find out. Is it going to be silly? Probably. Hello. Well, busy day? No, no, I'm actually toning the butchery and combat aspects down a bit. I've had a bit of a chat with her mothership, and we're re-examining our stance. Mm -hmm. Well, slaughtering someone just on suspicion of lustful intent seemed a bit excessive, particularly in the light of these new mayhem and justifiable carnage bylaws. It's so hard to prove moral and religious outrage when you've just threaded the prime witnesses onto a pool cue. Yes, yes, I, I quite see what you mean. What you probably want is some sort of receipt system. You know, have them file a form with you declaring lustful intent, and then you'd have something to show the city guards afterwards. You mean, once I've scooped out their spleen and... Yeah, yeah, well, you could tailor your responses more too. I mean, match retaliation with the intent. I mean, mere pulse quickening might be worth two black eyes. Your actual wolf whistle might be loss of consciousness plus one to four teeth. And your pat on the backside might say, require removal of the offending limb. And the spleen? Well, all right, if you must. It's just I'm getting good at those. And kidneys. I just don't know how many people are supposed to have. Is it two or four? Well, I think it varies according to personal need. Anyway, what do you think? Well, it all sounds much more reasonable. I think I rather like all that. Thank you, that's ever so helpful. No problem. And finally, the cook. Unseen University's cook? High time justice was done, if you ask me. Oh, don't like the food? You! Yes. Yeah, what is it? What are you doing here? They say I'm a pancake thief. I also got done for impersonating a frog in a toad-only zone. If you ask me, these bylaws are going too far. And that's why he's there. It's kind of our fault, the whole pancake thief thing, but uh, the other one, not us. I don't think. Probably. Either way, we have a puzzle to solve, as I said before. We're going to the street. Specifically, we're going to the barber, because from Act 1, remember uh, that this person uh, really likes the milkmaid? Also, could we talk to the dunny man here? I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. He looks kind of worried. I think he should be. So, how's business? A few cutbacks. We're trimming down our operation. Things are getting hairy. It's just me, really. 
I can't concentrate. I can't stop dreaming about me little milkmaid. Hmm. What if I were to arrange for you to meet her? Who? Her? The apple of me eye? The most perfect instrument of the goddess of love? That's the one. You're on. Okay, then. I have this note. It's from here. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, very, oh, very nice. Oh, oh, she's a naughty one. Oh, 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 she's beautiful. Oh, I don't know how she does it. Oh, I'm so in love. Oh, 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 her words. Her words are like molten lava trickling down my chest. Oh, oh she's a lovely woman. Quick, mind the shop for me, will you? Right, you are, then. Sure, we could do that. By the way, you need a tooth removing? Good. <laughs> First one. A gold tooth. Excellent. You okay? I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. Your toothache's probably gone. And so, when we come back, folks, we have the first of the artifacts. I don't, I'm not actually sure if we get something from the uh, the toy maker, but it's very apparent that the toy maker is a part of this organization. Hey, the street starfish knows that secret handshake. I wonder if. Nah, Street Starfish probably just knows it. You know, it's the prerogative of a Street Starfish. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. For when we come back, more getting of things. In fact, now that we've uh, gone to that meeting, there's probably something in the inn that we need. We can also go to the hideout whenever we want. I mean, not that we want to right now, but we can. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.